In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about the tassel that's typically attached to the end of a Taiji straight sword. Now, depending on the style, depending on your instructor, the length of the tassel is going to vary. Some instructors say that it needs to be something that when you're holding the sword here, um, just full arm's length to the side, the tassel should be touching the ground. Some instructors say that you want a tassel that's just very small. And so again, it's really just something that is going to be a matter of talking to your instructor and looking at what your style says is the correct way or the correct length for a tassel. Now, the reason that the tassel exists and is attached to a sword is not just to be ornamental and pretty, although that is a nice extra feature for it. Uh, when I was in China, I got to see some uh, antique swords there, and they had tassels that were made of horsehair and had stones rather than beads close to the end. And so the purpose of the tassel is, well, there's several purposes for the tassel, but one of the purposes is to be a leading attack or distraction. So as you can imagine, horsehair would not be a fun thing to be smacked with ever, but in a fight it would probably be somewhat distracting too. And rocks are not fun things to be hit with either. So the idea is you can lead a cut with the tassel. So that in and of itself is one of the uses of the tassel is that it's its own attack. So the tassel comes across and that's your first attack and then you follow up with the sword. So you have two attacks happening at the same time when you have a tassel attached to your sword. First is an attack with the tassel and that can be an attack or a distraction, and then the second is following through with the blade. Another use for the tassel is learning to cut with a straight sword. And so what you're not wanting to do is cuts that lead with the blade, and so it's difficult to teach that type of cut that would make the tassel move like that without having a tassel attached. When you're learning um, to use a Tai Chi straight sword, learning to do the cuts in a way that would lead with the tassel or lead with the pommel of the sword is going to improve your technique. So it not only acts as its own type of weapon, but it also improves your technique using the sword itself. And so after you've trained with the tassel, if you were to use a sword without a tassel, your technique would be better having used the tassel first rather than starting with a sword that does not have a tassel. There are some exercises you can do that would basically help you understand how to move the sword with the tassel on it. And one is to just do an upward cut. So if you don't have the tassel attached, then your upward cuts are going to be less fluid. But with the tassel attached, you learn to lead with the pommel and the cut follows. Now there are some downsides to having a tassel on your sword too. And the biggest downside is that it gets tangled on your hand sometimes, which if you're living back in the times when you're using a sword to defend yourself, that may not be the worst thing because worst case scenario, if it gets tangled on your wrist and you accidentally drop your sword, it's less likely to fall away from you because it's kind of tied to your wrist. You wouldn't have the option of using the tassel like it's meant in that situation, but it's not the worst thing. With a lot of performing of martial arts now and Tai Chi, um, it can be sort of unfortunate, a little uncomfortable, doesn't look as nice when you do a technique and the tassel wraps around your arm and you're kind of stuck with this awkward tassel stuck to you. Some people opt out of using a tassel for that reason if they're doing a performance. Some instructors actually use the tassel as a way of measuring the smoothness of someone's form. So if someone's doing their form and their tassel is doing a lot of swaying and bobbing and moving around, then there's a good example of it getting caught on your wrist. Then that's an indication to them that the student needs to uh, work on smoothing out their form and working on stability as they're going through the motions. I disagree with that sentiment. I think that the tassel is meant to be a lively aspect of a Tai Chi sword form. And so I think movement of the tassel is something that you actually want because that's letting you know that there's energy going into each motion. I definitely think that a tassel is the sort of thing that you want to start training with. Um, you don't want to start with a sword that doesn't have a tassel because then moving to a tassel is going to be difficult and you'll probably find that your cutting techniques are not as smooth as they could have been if you started with a tassel. If you start with a tassel and you get all of that down, then if you move to not using a tassel, your technique will still be good and you'll be able to go back to using a tassel anytime that you want. So if you've been wondering why tassels are typically attached to Taiji straight swords, hopefully this video gave you some answers to that question. As always, I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.